Today, finding an equivalent volcanic source has become like searching for a needle in a haystack. Modern volcanoes don't produce the same chemical composition, and available ash is either too fine or too coarse, lacking that magical ratio of silica and alumina that made Roman concrete exceptional. In the ancient workshops of Pozzuoli, limestone was burned in primitive kilns at exactly 900 degrees, a process judged by naked eye and expert estimation that has now become a scientific conundrum. Modern kilns, despite their extreme precision, cannot replicate the irregular conditions of ancient Roman furnaces. Researchers have discovered that those temperature fluctuations played a crucial role in forming the limestone's microscopic structure. Perhaps the greatest challenge lies in the seawater itself. In Roman times, Mediterranean waters had a different chemical composition than today. Climate change, pollution, and global warming effects have altered the balance of salts and minerals in our waters. When modern scientists attempt to use contemporary seawater in mixtures, the chemical reactions don't proceed as they did 2,000 years ago. In MIT laboratories, scientists are developing artificial additives to simulate the effect of Roman seawater. They add special blends of salts and minerals attempting to restore that lost chemical balance. 